One of the things that changed between in route three and in route four was the toolbar button was removed for the precision input center. You were still able to get to the function and you still can in in route five by hitting the F2 key. But in some cases, uh, you want to be able to hit a toolbar button. So here uh, we could come back and this and see that this toolbar button's been added. If we click here, it'll bring the, it'll bring the precision input center up. And this is a real easy way to select an object and scale it, rotate it, or move it uh, based upon the selection handles. And particularly with the rotate button, uh, it's, it works a little differently than this other rotate button in that uh, if you have a, a, an amount selected here, it will remain in that value will remain in that box and not turn to zero each time. And so in that manner, it does work a little differently than the other relief, uh, the other rotate button. However, the other rotate button does give you some functionality such as rotating by line that you don't get with precision input. So it's just a different way to do something also with regard to the move command. If you want to move something in the X, Y, and Z axis, it's, a, it's an easy way to move things around the plate. So again, uh, within Route 5, we've brought back the toolbar button for the precision input center.